the 4K cross tour action camera. 40 pound, just over 40 pound. Um, an extra 20 pound for the, ex the extra accessories and 10 pound for the SD card. What do I think of this little camera? So with about five days left before I go on my travels to Asia, um, I decided I wanted to get an uh, action camera, but unfortunately the one I wanted, which is the GoPro 7 Black, was out of my price range. So I've gone and bought um, what I thought was the next best thing, which is a uh, cross tour and it has just arrived so I thought you know what I'll do a little vlog on this um, a little review on it just for other people as well it after looking at a lot of reviews on different kinds of action cameras um, this was the one that finally ticked my box at a price range of around 45 quid which is nothing really it is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, money's money. But for 45 quid, what I saw that this can do, um, I was quite impressed. I hope I'm not going to be disappointed. So basically it has arrived today. I haven't even opened it yet. I've never used an action camera before. So it's the first time for me and you will be getting uh, my total unbiased opinion on this little gadget. Uh, so the cross tour, 4K. Um, yeah, let's have a look, see what it's all about. So the Cross Tour Action, action Camera um, CT8500. Let's open her up and see what she's all about. So far, quite impressed. Look at that. Get a business card with it. Um, some fast and easy to get guides. Action camera CT500 user manual. Um, little camera itself. If I take it out of the box because I don't want to damage anything in case I need to send it back. And there you have it. Cross tour 4K Wi-Fi. That I guess is the um, sealed a waterproof casing it comes with. Certainly looks the part. Let's see what it comes with. Well, look at all this lot. There's certainly a load. Move the boxes out of the way. Packaging unrequired. I haven't got a clue. These are like stick on strips, I guess. Um, holding strips. I really haven't got a clue what all these things are. Stick on pads. If you want to stick it to your helmet or something, I guess. Um, a strap, lens cleaner. That's an external mic. That is an actual external mic. Wow, look at that. How fantastic is that? That in itself is impressive. Um, two batteries, which is brilliant because obviously, you know, it's, it gives you more filming time. Two batteries, wow. So far, I'm so impressed. Um, 
these are straps, I guess, for Velcro straps for strapping on. Um, again, uh, mounting products for attaching it to, I guess, tripods or whatever. So many little things, little gadgets here. Uh, spare screen in case one goes, gets broken or whatever. Again, another mounting screen. Um, more screens. All these gadgets, I'm sure they're all, and look at that, a remote control. What more can you ask for? Now, from the reviews I've seen, these remote controls are no good underwater. But then, you know, if you're underwater, you probably wouldn't need a remote control anyway. Uh, the infrared probably wouldn't work anyway either. So yeah, don't take it swimming. Um, more stick-on little back packet. And that's the charger. So the cross to 4K action camera, um, very simple to operate. This little button on the front is your on off switch. So if you press that and hold it for a couple of seconds, she should come to life, as you can see. And then what you need to do is the same button, click it twice and you will have all your um, options on there. And on the side here, you have the up and down buttons. That's for up and that's for down. And you can literally navigate using those buttons through all the settings. Um, for instance, Visio video recording, and then when you find one you want, you press the button on the top, and that will take you to wherever you, you whatever recording you want to use at. I film on 1080p at 60 uh, frames per second, but if you want to go up, you can go into 4K or um, 2.7K at 30 uh, FPS, 1080p at 30. FPS, as I say, I'm going to leave mine on 1080p at 60 frames per second. Um, click the button on the top, and that's all set. Uh, as I say, I'm not going to go through all these um, options, but they are all there. And if you keep clicking the button on the front, at the bottom here, you can see it moves along. So you've got your video, you've got your camera, you've got um, different settings all along here. Literally just click on the button on the top to set which one you want to look at and it's all pretty straightforward um, and easy to understand. So on the side here you've got your USB port for your charger, for charging your battery and also um, your SD card holder. So the SD card basically put it so that the um, connections are facing you push it in and push it down and it will click into into place automatically be careful when you take it out because it is spring loaded and there is a possibility if you let it flick out that it will flick out everywhere um, take your SD card out and put it into the holder when you want to download any footage onto your laptop PC or whatever. I hope you can see this clearly enough. There's your handlebar. Basically, take the connecting piece out, put that on your handlebar, swing it round, and what I want to do is try not to get it too close to your controls, your light controls. This, as you can see, spins round and moves sideways, however you want to tilt it. And you simply place that screw into its housing and tighten it up, like so. And the other side the same.
there you have it. Easy as pie. If you want to connect your external microphone, again, very simple. Plug it into the... And what I do is take my helmet, put my helmet on, and you've got a little clip on here. Now I face it downwards, a little crocodile clip, and literally clip it onto my strap, my helmet strap, like that, and you're good to go. And that's absolutely fine. The audio I find from this is absolutely brilliant because it's so close to your mouth. Um, it, uh, and it's got a shield on it as well, windshield on it, which prevents any outside um, noises getting in. So it's, it, it comes out really nice and clear. So filming 1080p, 60 FPS. Uh, on a scooter, testing the audio, heading towards our power. thing that I do like about this camera amongst other many things is I was swimming along with it in my pocket and suddenly I went to take a picture and it wasn't there anymore but fortunately guess what look it floats too so finally the 4k cross tour action camera 40 pound, just over 40 pound. Um, an extra 20 pound for the, ex the extra accessories and 10 pound for the SD card. What do I think of this little camera? Wow. If you're going on holiday, family, friends, and you just want something to, um, you know, basically capture your moment, um, take some underwater footage, beaches, swimming pool. Not very brilliant at low light, but with good lighting, um, good sunshine, absolutely fantastic. I filmed on 1080p at 60 FPS, which was absolutely brilliant. Um, if you're gonna use 4K, as I say, I'd probably recommend getting a, a bigger SD card. And yeah, for this camera in this budget range for £40, just over £40, I highly recommend this camera. I would recommend getting an external mic for this camera because the built-in microphone isn't of the best quality. Um, the audio isn't that good on it with the built-in mic. So yeah, get just get an external mic. Um, it's got the fitting for an external mic, as you can see. Uh, Brilliant, and you're ready to go. So yeah, Chef's Travels, Kevin Harrington. Um, cross Tour 4K, brilliant little camera. Thank you for watching, I hope this video has been helpful. Please remember to subscribe, give me a cheeky little thumbs up. As I say, there are affiliate links below um, where you can purchase this camera. 
If you use the links below, you will get discount on some products. Not all products, but some products will get discount on them. Um, I'm Kevin Harrington, this is Chef Travels. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next mission.